at 6.08 or thereabouts. I'm going to kick off this Gen Gov meeting. Um, agenda item number one is roll call. Um, Ms. Clements? Present. Ms. Shea? Present. Council Ryan? Present. Council Rivas? Present. And myself? Present. Okay. Um, item number two is general government meeting minutes for 8.30 and the uh, DPW, the joint DPW Gen Gov minutes for 8.30. Um, I just saw I sent them out, they, they're together, mm -hmm. um, okay. but they are separately delineated. Mm -hmm. Any, anybody have questions or concerns? Yeah, um, Mr. Chair, through you. Yep. Um, I noticed um, going through, like, I know we abbreviate things sometimes, but if unless you were familiar, I don't think most people would know what CONCOM is. Okay. So making sure everything's spelled out. Um, okay. Little things like that. I know there's a lot of like PDFD. Even if they're in there, they should at least be referenced once, full out, so that way, and then in parentheses like yes. FD, so that way throughout the rest of the document, people understand what's being referenced. Okay, that's fine. Anybody else? Um, Go ahead. Yes, if I could. So I was trying to see it on the first one. I started on the second one. I, I know we kind of had this discussion before that you you quote in certain places and you. Um, okay, so there's a couple things. One, um, on the first minutes, you say Clement said it should be on the front page. Yeah, I, I think I said it should be, um, yeah, front page of the website. Of the website yeah. yeah, I know. It was, I think it should be an, uh, an announcement, yeah. But mostly what I'm real concerned about is the second page. Uh, down three quarters. Clement says she the town's requiring half road paving and wants it here. Yeah. And you quote, quote, town doesn't stand up for ourselves. I did say that. I, I would say that's like 99.9% .9 accurate. However, he said, oh, never mind. Shay pointed out. I thought he said it. I said it with a quilt. I'm like, I never said there was a quilt. I did. I, 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 so, I did. I said So I'm quilt. looking at that because I thought it was still part of that, you know. And I and like, still look at I didn't it every say day. Quilt. And they're digging there again. Uh, and you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm good with that then. I'm sorry. I no, really no, thought no. it was the same pair. Like, I didn't, yeah. I just, okay. I just saw your Shay there now. That's like, nice. I thought it said she, not Shay. Like, she pointed out the right. sales dresser oh, no, area, no, not no, Shay. No, 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 and, and then I thought you quoted me as saying quilt. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I, 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 I never call I that a quilt thinking, of anything. <laughs> I, I, I keep thinking it. At least they should be made to have the same color. Uh, asphalt. Yeah. <laughs> if they can't, if they can't do the whole row, then. I mean, you don't want it to be rainbow colored asphalt. Make it really that obvious be where mm -hmm. their where their paving has gotten bad. So we don't really see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Can I have a motion? I'll move to approve the. Um, joint Town Council Gen Gov meeting minutes. As amended. As amended, okay. Second. As amended, yes. All those in favor? Okay. And for the Gen Gov DPW meeting? Uh, Any other questions, comments besides what oh. you said? Can I just, can I make one statement though? Mm -hmm. When you, if these are what you're providing to the town, please be accurate on the top because it's not just general government, it's a general government town council. Remember to always do that um, per, uh, Attorney General's office, which is a joint meeting right, of right. you got to get the title right because that's really important. Just say I just noticed that it's just Jenga when you said that. Just get the titles right because that's how you list it. The way it's on the minutes is the way it should be on the, uh, I mean, the on the agenda. Um, okay. And then, okay. And then yeah, Mr. Chair, there's one part I wanted to add under the trench bylaw discussion. Right before the motion that I made, I did state that I, I felt it was appropriate that it go to them since they have the expertise knowledge um, and then have that referred back to the general gov for um, review um, to make sure it was good and um, it was correct to go into our code of bylaws was the recommendation that I had made. It, none of that was included so I wanted to make sure that was put in there before the motion. Okay. That, that was my okay. rationale. Okay, before bylaw creation. And what was that said again? That they have more expertise and knowledge to prepare the bylaw, and then once they are finished, they will submit that they've submitted to 
the okay. general government subcommittee for review to make sure it's in line with our code of bylaws. Okay. That was my only addition to that one. Okay. Just also like the same idea, same thing of um, con con. Right. Okay. Okay. All those in favor as amended? Specifically requested hard copies. Did you get them? I picked mine up. Okay. I don't know what you mean, but I asked for ones. Yeah. And I asked I asked Nor, Nor, Nor to print them out for anybody who wanted them. So, so okay. You got them. Good. I've read it online. I've read yeah, yeah, I, I've, I've got, my, it I got up, mine. In, I think she's got a few up there. So. Okay. Thank you. I see. It makes it easy. Yeah, because then I can do the. Right. So, any thoughts? Um, right before this meeting, I was actually. Um, on the fly trying to dra start drafting an actual bylaw, primarily um, taking taking it from Chicopee bylaws, the Chicopee law. Um, that was the most detailed. It, it was, yeah. But they have they have the Air Force base. Right. Which means I thought it was fairly relevant to us since we have the Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's like much, obviously it's a big difference, yeah. but. There's certain FAA regulations that are in mind, right? But I, right. I think, I think we need to really, I'm, I, the more I look at this, the more I just, I think that our state and federal guidelines go far enough. It's pretty much, you, you can't really fly a drone above a certain height in Southbridge anyway because of how, where the, where the airport is. So I, I just, I really wonder if we are using this committee's time to the most effectiveness on something that really we really don't have much jurisdictional control over anyway. I would agree with you in the sense that after looking over the the, the law mm -hmm. uh, as as things exist mm -hmm. um, that were online because I actually mm -hmm. did some googling searching myself right. beyond and did find what you had found and mm -hmm. other stuff. Right. I, I agree with you in the fact that there's it's already outlined and even Chickabees mm -hmm. it's pretty much just a re rehashing of what's already out there. And then you've got the the case with the um, uh, that the judge shot down. You know the four right. items, which were right. the the meat they were trying to put in for other points. And the reality was they were you know pre uh, pre uh, pre or however they call that. Mm -hmm. um, and they weren't allowed, for instance, registering with the clerk's office. And right, you know you've already got a registration over a certain size drone that's with the federal government. You know, making them register again and. Just different things. It just seemed redundant, and it also seemed really difficult to enforce. So, I think if the town wanted to have a policy versus a full-on bylaw printed in at this point in time, because things are going to continually evolve, and mm -hmm. the last thing we want to have to do is to keep going back to the bylaws mm -hmm. and keep upping the bylaws. But if you have a policy in place that is easier to adapt to, you know, we have a let it be known, you know, Southbridge has a drone policy. ABC. You know, it's not enforceable at time, perhaps, as a policy versus a bylaw or whatever. Yeah, but a um, policy would apply to the town itself. It doesn't yeah. apply to the citizen. No, yeah, you could have a policy. Or you could have a... a, a uh, that's the whole point of bylaw. Like, like an ordinance. Yeah. An that's, ordinance. That's, that's what a bylaw is. Yeah. They're, the same. Well, They're the same thing legally. So I'm just There's saying, I, I just don't see... I think you're going to put something in paper that's going to need to be changed. And, you know... I think I, I don't know. I agree. With, I agree with Jackie's comments that it just seems like what you're what's here is a little redundant. And I did have a question for you. When you redid the letters, um, need a definition. So you have a seven. Need yeah, a those are just those are just more notes than anything else. Mm -hmm. And honestly, some of those numbers I was looking through it when I was looking through it. The numbers were weird. I don't know what how they ended up that way. Okay, well, honestly. but I had some but questions <laughs> on here. So are all the reds are things you changed that weren't theirs? Correct. All of the text, no, the, I didn't change, most cases I didn't change any text. I just highlighted it. Oh, okay. well, it's, not, it's red. So the, it's yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I did it in red just so people would see it. Oh, okay, so um, red. But there's a couple of things, like I know, for example, need a definition for operator. Yeah. That was mine. 
but most of the things that are that are just red text are just just to point them out. That's all. Right, because I thought I saw something online when I was reading, and then when I read you, I'm like, yeah, it is there. Exactly. Why is it in red? I wasn't quite sure I knew why it was in red, but okay. All right, so that makes sense that I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, I read just, your, I just, your I just, I was just noting, I was just kind of making it notable so because it comes out of me, so. Okay, yeah, because I had, you had the, there was the no, you know, no over private property of another and less written consent, and you say to yourself, that's almost impossible unless you're in your own backyard, whatever that means, like the, the size of the, you know, and you go up and you come down because there's, you're gonna go up and go somewhere. It's well, mm -hmm. and I was thinking of that, and actually, when I, what I was thinking of, one of the, the ideas I was drafting as a potential use here would be this one, a variant of that, which says, no drone shall be used to make visual or audio recordings or take still images of any privately owned property, any person on private property, and or any person within any building for any reason, except when the operator has written permission from the individuals being so recorded. In this mm -hmm. case, this is for recording. Right. Right. Letters granting such permission shall be retained by the operator for five years, um, and we can we can easily set it up so that. Um, and I then I have a section: the drone shall not be flown over individuals not participating in drones operation, except when being used to record public events or emergencies for use of publicly accessible media. I just I just don't know how you, it's going to be enforceable, and it, it also appears that things are can be enforced in the courts. You just have to take it to the court, and who's you know are. First off, we would have to enforce this ourselves and then say they violated and send them to court. But if you have a person who takes a, um, a willful, you know, um, if you're reading through that, what's what they call it, uh, I can't even think, you know, unlawful uh, entrance upon their property by virtue of being overhead or something right. like that. There mm -hmm. are rules mm -hmm. to, they seem like there were some general rules that, that people are supposed to be following and anybody could take another to court on their own. And try to get it enforced, or, or get an injunction to stop, yeah. to cease and desist, a cease and desist, or get, or get civil penalties, or get civil penalties. I right. mean, there seemed like there were things, at least from what I was reading, if I read all the words correctly, you know, that they, there seemed to be a penalization and a way to take it to court and do it if they felt they were so harmed. I mean, I just think the other thing you worry about is people say, okay, town's got a bylaw. Oh. I don't like my neighbor, he's got a drone, I'm going to say he flew over my house, how do I, I'm just going to go and complain, then they got to investigate mm -hmm. the complaint, even if he didn't fly over your house, you know, it's like, how do you even, this well, is what the police's time is going to be I, taken I, up there's with. Some, there's some truth to that, on the flip side, that happens already with other things. Well, well, well yeah, people South trespass all the time. All kinds of other things. Yeah, yeah, people trespass constantly. It's, I mean, it's, you know, it's, tough. Like you it is, so it's really tough to enforce those yeah. things, yeah. yeah. I was thinking that Jackie and I talked earlier that we should just have a simple bylaw that says um, you can have a, a drone in Southbridge, you have to follow the federal and the state guidelines, um, and then if we wanted to put a penalty if you don't follow them, you know, the, the one of them was like, the first one was a warning, the second one was $50, 100 then 200 subsequent. Mm -hmm. Just keep it as simple as that then, as the state and the federal governments um, really work on this because it's really going to be at their level mm -hmm. um, that our bylaw will automatically keep up with theirs and if we need to have something down the road I also have a question how are the police going to ever follow this because they can't catch the fireworks kids mm -hmm. and we know where they are and who they are and by the time the Cruiser guests, or even if he sneaks up nice and quiet, I watch them all the time on the fourth of July. They're gone, mm -hmm. and this thing is four hundred feet in the sky. Yeah. Well, I, that, think, well, we I think keep it as simple. Just and I think I think the drones would be easier to follow than some than some of those issues because there's not that many of them yeah. today. Yeah. I also think that. Um, a lot of times things like fireworks or loud music like the neighborhood crime watches when they're in effect mm -hmm. those groups help sort of curb that behavior True. but since we didn't have them during the pandemic that's you know that's made it difficult but um i know that sheen is bringing those back mm -hmm. um and um and so i think that this could be part of that where people you know kind of inform the police or the tip 411 line or whatever, mm -hmm. um, that probably would be the best kind of like, you know, collaboration between the police and, and our residents. 
Um, but I, I agree with Jackie and Martina, just kind of have something general um, that points to, you know, the state and federal guidelines, and then maybe, you know, something we add in there, some parts where, um, like you put in red, mm -hmm. um, I think makes sense, where, you know, we're not letting people videotape or right. record. I think that's the biggest piece that I'm people sorry. get really... Yeah nervous about like mm -hmm. someone's going to record me um you know i think flying over someone's house is you know like everyone said well, it's, the, it's, the, the, it's hard course. to do anything about that if they're not yeah. recording you right mm -hmm. the yeah. only thing i worry about and I, I get the idea of maybe even having the general language po um pointing to the fate and federal and state law we may not need, I, do we even have jurisdiction to regulate that mm -hmm. matter is what I'm wondering too because it's all regulated federal airspace, right? It's FAA space. True, I think we have So is idea. that our ability to, to regulate what's happening outside of that? And again, how much of that outside of that radius is actually, if there is any of it that's Southbridge that's outside of that radius, how much of it is actually? Well, I think I think the issue I think the issue that as I was reading the law that the FAA airspace is the five is the four hundred feet and up that we regulate yeah. under, under that. Yeah. Okay. Right. And yeah. from what I understand of our our land area, basically possibly the end of Blackmer Road is probably might be outside of the radius. The rest of the town is pretty much in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the flaw you have now with anybody and fines and regular and fines and, and whatever penalties is there has to always be an appeal process. Mm -hmm. And good luck proving without undoubted proof, like who's got, who's got, unless you have a picture that was put online that was by a drone, but even then whose drone was it? Unless you have some really deep investigation, uh, or I don't even know, eyewitnesses aren't even, that's, they can be dismissed, that can be irrelevant to a case. How do you even enforce it in that respect? Because somebody could appeal your your t your ticket to them, your fine of them, or whatever. True. And prove that they're telling not who's telling the truth, who's telling. So that I would think is a bit is a bit tricky. Is the appeal process that has to come along with it. So in other words, how much time do we really want it to take up? If it's that bad, shouldn't it just go to a higher level than than a local? That's all. I'm just. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't excuse know. Excuse me. Put the bylaw in. You know, print up some more bylaw pages and. I just don't know if it's gonna, like like you said, the time and energy and effort put into it, and then have to send it to legal to be approved. I'm not so sure. I mean, one thing one thing that was occurring to me is, um, if with with the FAA rules, would the would the police actually have enforcement authority? And how would we know? I mean, one of the things I was throwing in there was the idea of having people who own drones living in town. Um, let the airport manager know that they have to, because that because the airport is the is the overarching issue as far as drones are concerned, oh. and I don't know how we necessarily go about do that. I just I, I drafted this as a possible text, right? Because of the proximity of Southbridge Airport, all owners and dro of drones living in Southbridge shall inform the airport manager of their presence with name, address, phone, and email contact information. The manager shall maintain a list of such owners, updating it as often as necessary. It's not necessarily registration because nobody's paying for it. It's just a list. Because um, that was because I did think about that as far as the whole Newton registration thing. Um, all operators, whether resident or visiting, seeking to use a drone in town, shall inform the airport manager of their intent no less than an hour before takeoff, and shall accept the manager's direction as to whether or not the proposed flight time is acceptable for safety reasons. That person would not. Realistically, though, who's going to follow that? I I'm, I'm just trying approach. to think realistically. Think like, who would go? Like, thing? I'm going to go notify the airport that I'm going to go fly my drone under 400 feet. Like, but that, but that, is, that is what the FAA law says. It is what it says, but I'm also, to Denise's point, how enforceable is that? Are you really going to be. I mean, but I think do we not be. have laws because they're not followed? I'm like, is this something worth legislating? I'm arguing the point, is this something even worth legislating? I don't think it is. But the FAA has the size on the drones, too. It has right. to do with certain sizes. There's right. commercial drones and there's recreational right. drones. There's right. a difference as right. to what you... 
Yeah. And we would have to set up those? definitions. I think the, right. issues, the issues, the issues, 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 issues I think we're facing is their their rules are what fifty five pounds or more or something like that. More, more. yeah. yeah. It's right. over and we're talking pounds. things that weigh ten pounds. Yeah. Right. Less. So you're going to say that there's a hundred people. They're all going to be calling up. Um, yeah, Ron Ron's going to be right there to take all those calls now. I, I, I understand. I understand. I understand that the the difficulty of of something, but we got, I figure it wor it's worth time, maybe worth some effort to figure out what it is we actually want. I you think know, you have I, to remember where this came. We're from. talking the little the things are internal may yeah. turn out may turn out to be um, more of an issue than the the bigger, more visible ones because the FAA already regulates them. Right. That, that we, we, well, because some because they're getting to be drones that are about this big, you know, and that that could take down an airplane if it's in the wrong if it's in the flight path of a, of a jet, or one of those smaller smaller planes. It could they're going to do it. You're not going to a jet engine. A laser pointer. Yeah. This is true. I mean, those are kinds of I mean, issues. Yeah, that, those a, are the if they get in the way of yes, the FAA, of they are going to be Yeah, stuck like I'm not them. worried about like people <laughs> taking drones and flying them into planes now. Like that's not what we're no, talking about. Like, not, the, I just think the reality really of it, it, the space. I, I just don't see the need to double insulate here when we don't even have an issue of it happening. This code, as Ms. Clemens pointed out, this came out of something completely different. Which was an internal yeah. po department. Mm -hmm. Thing, not even a town council thing. I, I, I just I don't. True, but at I don't some understand point, the the actual need for this. I don't see it because it's become a problem or it's something that is. I, I think we have a lot of other issues in this town that we really need to be focusing in on, and I don't see this as a real issue right, right now at this point. That's just my thought. I I, I, I look at it as we. I, I just don't know what more we can do outside of the federal regulations that are already in place, and I, I just I, I don't see the the actual impact of that it's going to have. It's not like this is because we're having an issue of this happening in town. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's it, it just came I mean, out of yeah. The idea is to prevent it because okay, so the FAA regulates the fifty-five pounds and over. So all of the little drones, so we have an event at Dresser Street and there is 10 or 20, there are 10 or 20 drones flying under the FAA regulations and, they're and there's they're no, there's nothing to regulate that in your, in the park and people are Crashing space. drones into each I, other. I, 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 I don't know. We're getting into a freedom of speech. You know, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. so there are people now. There are signs all over our public yeah, parks that say no smoking, no animals loose, and any of that. Are we enforcing any of that? I wish we were. I wish we were spending our time. I and mean, if someone to complains, oh, people, parents probably. complain all the time when their children are playing sports. True. But there's only so much. So you know, she would put, but we still have something in place. Mm -hmm. I guess we could do it. So we could still put something in place about public parks or public, you know, we could that way in order to better serve the community, you know, we could have something and we could tell them you have to stop because we haven't, you know, we have a, there's a policy. Yeah. I think I, it, having a policy, good, let's I mean, say, having a, a bylaw, I mean, whatever. a bylaw gives you the tools that if something does happen in a space, so with the dogs, if someone's dog bites, Someone, then there is something in place that you know that those people are penalized because they didn't follow the regulations. But if you don't have anything in place and something happens, it hasn't happened. But if we're thinking about how popular drones are going to be and how how affordable they are becoming, then having something, even something very brief and something very general, just protects us and equips the police or whoever that if something does happen then they have something to so I guess the argument that I would make to that is what people are using it for recording purposes you if you're in a public space you have no right to privacy you are in a public space if you are in a public park somebody can record you and there's nothing you can do about it under the law the Constitution has made clear that if you are acting within a public space that's like public town land People can record you, and there's nothing you can do about it. But it's called there's, the First Amendment audit. Right, but there's a difference between, between employees and citizens. 
But the, if you say no drones are allowed, not about the recording, no drones are allowed to fly over public parks or whatever, and then they start flying over, it's not about the recording of it, it's about it's them about flying the, in general. Yeah. And of course, if you eliminate the drones, you eliminate mm -hmm. the recording. So yeah. I don't disagree yeah. with right. that. Yeah. You know, you can go with it, it's a different It's a different way. I understand what you're saying, because mm -hmm. I agree. It stinks to be out public sometimes, you're gonna hide behind a tree. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, just, I, I, I don't like restricting the rights of people on something that <laughs> predicated on something that hasn't happened, and that's the way I'm looking at this discussion of like, okay, we we're saying we have a problem, and we don't have a problem. We're saying there could be a problem, but should you legislate from a point of we may have a problem. I I, I, don't, I, I mean, I guess we were responding to all of those people that came to the meeting and were angry about. So yeah, but that was something completely different. That wasn't violated. about. <laughs> But they were talking about. It. They were out of control with their. <laughs> they were talking about the something. Police and the fire else. were going to yeah. be were, were going to be violating everybody, which. That's, yeah, which is not the point. Not the so so they're no, making some cases that, that didn't that. exist. I, oh, I agree with that. That's true. Yes, I um, loved the pictures of the New World War monument and the fire station mm -hmm. that seemed to be from on high. Mm -hmm. Somebody did it on there. <laughs> Without. I, I still think we should just keep a very simple yeah. Yeah. one. I guess yeah, follow the federal point. guidelines, the state guidelines, because they are going to change and develop. Mm -hmm. And that um, oh, something about... Um, so that's what we need to do. What do we think needs to be done? Is it parks? Is it large gatherings in general? Is it, is it public parks and lands? Is and it, you have to can't do the public parks and lands because, as Jackie said, and I'm going to go all libertarian. It's just yeah. not like me. We can't <laughs> make people... Uh, register their drones. Oh, but you can prohibit them from you just like it from these right. dogs and smoking. And you can prohibit them basement. from flying over certain oh, areas of different. your community. That's, that's all different. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think. Well, I think. I think the, the bigger concern is less the public spaces and events. Private and spaces. Yes. Private spaces. That's a whole different yeah. thing. Yeah. And that's, that's. I don't think we should be able to in private. That's just me. I mean, I don't. Is that the point? Well, because where, where are you going to fly? Where gonna well, okay, so where are you going to fly it then if you can't fly it over? Else. Okay, you you can't fly it over your house because you're going to be near other people in this town. So you can't fly it over a park. I, I, I think the point of these drones is to be fun and to add as an entertainment tool. I think we're really overthinking something that has not become an issue here. I, I just, I, 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 Michelle's right. I don't, I don't want to legislate or, or their, their ability to do something just because there's a predication that there might be an issue when there hasn't even occurred. But it's I would say the privacy issue, the flying over private homes is yes. already addressed with FAA. Exactly. I mean, with uh, the, f the, the federal exactly. government, whatever. That's so that's, that, yeah. yeah. So, and you can fly over, you just aren't supposed to video record. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the, it's yeah. airspace. Maybe, maybe that's it's public air. When problem. I mean public, I meant just like we said, if, if, we're, if we're worried about the gathering type, if we're worried about people knocking into each other, mm -hmm. not being careful over public people, Enter, you know, gathering. Then that that would be a concern to me. When you start talking about that, that that's a little concern to me. Saying just like fireworks, you know, or yeah. those types of things. It's group things that people can get hurt at, right? So if we were trying to do this for the safety of the community, what's the safety of all, not just the safety of a few? Isn't that is that sort of what we're talking about? So while I'm against, you know, a lot of like are we bothering? So, so I'm if also that's a potential issue, some. how do we deal with it? So, so if that, if that, I think, I think we all kind of agree that that could potentially be an issue. Um, of the small drones and small drones in a basically s relatively small public space conflicting with each other, mm -hmm. and or having issues with people there. How how do we address that? I, I go back. Please, please. <laughs> 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 please, please. You, please. you don't want to be involved. <laughs> <in this. laughs> no, you know, I, I've tried to think about this. Like I said last time public spaces where there are events. You know, you don't want every family who's got a kid playing on your Thanksgiving Day football game trying to fly it right. to get uh, their kids, you know, you know, game day performance captured. I told them, um, so I would think that there's yeah, certain events so on school property or other grounds that you might want to not allow people to do without express written consent. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. Now, and it could be uh, public uh, public events and stuff where they have to register, and, and it's the first yeah, the three people register. You know, they limit the town has the right to limit the number of you know permissible uh, what do they call uh, drones? Yeah, not drones, but permissible 
things. Cameras and videos. Yeah, but I, didn't want, I wouldn't just want to say drones. I want to say uh, devices. Oh, yeah. Something Recording like that. Device. Yeah. yeah. Unmanned aerial Unmanned craft. Unmanned aerial craft or something, you know, yeah. versus just drone. Because you don't know what the next you unmanned right. thing is. It might be called a drone. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think they call them bombs. Slingshots. Oh, yeah. Unmanned. Yeah. If we didn't ban slingshots, I don't even hear it. Well, those things are. That's why these are if I'm just generically as aircraft. But right. they still yeah. want to provide yeah. a forum where definition. people can use this. Because I remember as a kid, like when we'd go to baseball practice on the town's field, there'd always be some guy on the side flying his remote control airplane. Right. Yeah, as long right. as he wasn't bothering anybody, he didn't right. try to our quote sure. unquote dance yeah. space, nobody cared. But That's if you dealt these people ever went and said to the school, Can I have permission to fly my airplane? They'd come down on a Saturday or you yeah. know, late in the evening when most people were moving away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just so think maybe have like a time have frame where they can fly it. During school well, day, you don't want them flying over the playground. Right. During a sanctioned events like football game, baseball mm -hmm. game, you don't want them flying. Yeah. Without express permission or something. Yeah. Because yeah. then you could allow a camera group. Say there's a photography group who right. takes pictures of the football team and they've got yeah. a drone to get the pictures of the football yeah. team. So yeah. Th so, yeah, there could be some validity mm -hmm. to regulating but not outlawing, so to speak, yeah. and, yeah. and mm -hmm. keeping it simple. And that's why I think this yeah. is sounding more like an internal, like department to department decision. The school system may want to set up some policies around how they use their fields and their their program and events. But I think, I, but that, that that's for their internal stuff, though. What we're talking about is the public doing it in yeah. these various yeah, places. And if they and if they and they have to go find a policy from the fire department, the school department, and this department and that department, they'll have no idea what they are, and they're not going to bother looking for them. No. If they're in the bylaw, they'll at least have one location. Whether it's difficult to enforce or not, it'll at least have one location to say, this is what we expect. Right. As opposed to, where do I go to find out anything? Who knows? Mm -hmm. I'm going to suggest that we put this off for a year. Uh, <laughs> no, no, not, not because of, of our difficulty finding this, but let's let some other towns, bigger cities, who have whole legal teams and all of that. Let's let another group of them, because we have Holyoke and Chicopee and Boston, mm -hmm. and they'll, those all have like major airport type issues, sure. and they're, they're aiming it towards that. Right. I think we're going to find in the next couple of years um, that um, the, um, the smaller towns, the smaller cities, are going to start having the same questions that we're having, but um, we could let their legal teams um, just wait a year. The, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. well, just, if you look, Worcester recently went through this exercise and they wound up recently coming up to with a drone policy. Um, I spoke to Sarai Rivera who mm -hmm. works here in town. She's a city council mm -hmm. mayor. Right. She said that they contacted the ACLU when they were looking at all this she, I wrote an email to her last week after we met. She said she was going to try and get in contact. With oh, okay. Um, but to the Shay's point, you know, they recently did it. So some of these other people are spending time and legal resources. You might be able to glean something from mm -hmm. what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I'm not talking. When I know whenever we kick things down the road, they're apt to get lost in the, in the, in the far future small, <laughs> but I, I still, I, I do really think that a town the size of Southbridge is, uh, we don't want to be the, the, and we're not ready to be the, the go-to. I disagree. I think <laughs> Southbridge can always be a front runner. Why does it always have to be a wagger? That's why we get into trouble with things because we don't stand up for ourselves, I as I once said in my minute. to be a laggard. I want to be we a, should be a leader. A, no. we, should, we could be a leader, <laughs> or we could uh, use the um, brilliance and the money larger, of yes. other people. Oh, I don't just <laughs> right, right. Which is exactly what manager is suggesting by talking to Mister. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Well, yeah. well, maybe That's not a was, year. Maybe yeah. like a. Uh, but in the okay. meantime, I think that the committee, the group, should. Think about so. I mean, I just said, so, well, why am I writing something? Yeah, schools, public parks, and recreation areas. Mm -hmm. You know, think of places or things that this because we didn't really think like that before this. We just thought about a whole big, you know, federal policy with a few things thrown in for the city of somebody under 400 people. No, it's not about that. It's about the places and, and, and people that you want to protect. 
So right if, we're, if we're trying to protect our citizens in Southbridge in some way, shape, or form, who's most vulnerable, what areas are most need to be protected, and that's where, you know, maybe start as a guideline there as to what, what we want to do. But like you said, we can think about that. It can, instead of just rushing to it, you know, like, okay, another package ring. And having meetings that, you know, we don't necessarily have to have just lots of meetings to have meetings either. Because somebody's sure. there oh, for absolutely. two weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> we have one that we've used to. Really that. Still a meeting we needed. Yeah. Long one, short one. Um, but... I do, I do like the idea of something about some of the larger areas and some type of permission for, you know, multiple, multiple products up in the air because that does make sense, you know. And the more we brainstorm, the, the more comes out about stuff. Mm -hmm. I just thought a lot of that other stuff was stuff is not enforceable. But something with a little meat is certainly at least like, hey, you're not on the list. Show me your, you're not on the list, so down with the drone. It's easy, right? You walk up right. to a person with their kid, the family, the, the irate dad or mom. Mm -hmm. What do you mean my kid can't rent their drone? Three, Harry, John, and Lulu have it. And it's like, well, your kid, you didn't register your kid's drone, and three's the limit, you know, or something. Right. Well, so, I, I, did, I, so did, I think that helps. I was thinking that too along the lines of yeah. the drone users having, have, would be required to have a copy of their, whatever of they their signed FAA off on. permit on hand. They won't if have an FAA or whatever, whatever it's it is. a little drone. No, they would have had to have registered with the town at that event. Yeah. You know, specific events mm -hmm. would have to. You'd have yeah, to and, you, and we can come up with them. signage at our parks and playground or wherever it is that say drone policy, yeah, you know, just website. send them a text. They, I used to do that today with my doctor's appointment. Right. See, this is, I, I have this appointment. Right. So I'm just saying, there's there are yeah. things to think about. How do you how do you let people know it's gonna it's gonna be imposed? How do you let people know that you know they need to get permission? It's just like getting a parks and recreation permit when they right. when they're gonna use the gazebo or something. <coughs> just saying. Well, Maybe was, they could teach yeah. in school. By the way, high school. How about we have a whole thing on drone? There's a good one. Let's bring in some down the road as we evolve. <laughs> you bring in you bring in somebody to the school to have a conversation about this because we Absolutely. brought in people to the school about all kinds of illegal sure. activities. Well, how about we bring somebody in? Uh, maybe we should bring them in on fireworks too. Somebody with their yeah, eyeballs on. Say that their eyeball right. out. <laughs> how about we have some really cool people come in and talk about why you should have some safety and if you choose to mm -hmm. still make the mistake of using it that here's what you should at least look out for. <laughs> You know, right. you know what that I'm saying? Sense, right. We've had Absolutely. what basketball players on drugs. We've had all kinds mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. How about we do yeah. some more education on this to the younger crowd? That's actually mm -hmm. the ones that we'll have to worry about with this stuff. Mm -hmm. So just some suggestions. Yeah. I love it. See if anything's evolved yeah. or we get more information yeah. more by from Worcester, Worcester or, or whatever. Because yeah. I do think this is going to be like if Worcester's looking at it and we're looking at it, I think a lot of people are going to. That's probably, I think that's true. Yeah. Yeah, and let them make some of the mistakes first. Well, I think we already did that. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> we said that. Okay. Oh. All right, then I move to postpone this discussion until January 2023. Second. Any other comments or questions on the motion? I just want to say it was a good discussion. Was that was a good discussion. Okay, all those in favor? <laughs> I won't hold that. You can I'd rather see us it. do something about it, frankly. But, I mean, I don't right, think we have enough to do stuff issue. about it. You're right. I, I agree. We do. We have a lot, enough, a lot to do with it. Um, no, I don't think we have enough material. Maybe. To do yeah. enough of that, yeah, we, we have some. We need to draft. Some. We need. We need to look at more comparisons. You can keep working on yeah. it, Gus. With right. all the stuff we've talked because about, you can continue really, to. Really, truly, I do think that this is going to be a big issue, and we need to look at some towns that don't that have small airports at, or not huge airplanes flying back and forth to Iraq or wherever. Well, yeah, right. To. I mean, that, that actually, I, actually, that might be an issue to think about, too, is because like, we're also under a flyboard. Like, I know my house is. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, they go, yeah. going to going to either Bo either Westover and or Bradley. Oh yeah, yeah, the whole town is yeah. yeah. here all the time. Yeah, but but again, this you were, let's call the police and say we just saw a drone fly over in the no-fly zone. Well, we're, which way to go? Well, it went down the hill. Well, yeah, we're not going to try to find it. I'm just saying. I know. I understand the concern. And someone was judged 400 feet. Four telephone calls, the wrong one. The distance. I don't know. I guess you have to have a laser pointed. Oh, you have 401. Shoot it down. That's about all you could do, really. It's one of those. One of those. No, one of those range finders that are, you know, that no, are surveying. No, if you were good at trigonometry, you could have, you know. Of course, if it's under 400 feet, but it's only this big, would you even see it? Well, <laughs> uh, all right. I move, I move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor?